Hello, I'm Jill Chadwick with the University of Kansas Hospital. When the government closed Walter Reed Army Medical Center, it opened the door to hands-on training for members of the National Guard right here in their own backyard. After four years of preparation, the first 19 students arrived. We caught up with a couple of them right here in the emergency department. Emergency department, this is Wilma. Nurse Wilma Gilbo takes down patient information in the emergency department okay. while senior airman Sarah Molstad Wilma, looks on. Uh, Around the corner, Master Sergeant Sherry Willard listens from the doorway as a doctor cares for a sick boy. W-I-L-M-A. Both women are observing for now and say they've seen a lot. Medical training for the National Guard used to mean a week or two of PowerPoint presentations or simulators and perhaps a trip to Washington, D.C. They called it readiness prepared. But Master Sergeant Willard, who's been in the Guard for 16 years, disagrees. Willard deployed to Iraq in 2007. She says hands-on training is critical, especially for guard men and women with no medical background. Training for now is limited to observations and the classroom. Registered nurse Bob Derry is demonstrating how to draw blood here in the hospital and on the battlefield. While this is the first class to undergo medical training at the University of Kansas Hospital, they won't be the last. The goal? To become hands-on in monthly training. We'll follow this story. They'll be back in October to practice air medical evacuation. For the University of Kansas Hospital, I'm Jill Chadwick.